Hey guys, and welcome to my first ever coffee chat with Monica. Um, I know it's supposed to be coffee. I got tea, so tea on. I asked on this Instagram picture for you guys to ask me questions about anything, and most of you wanted to know things about fitness. So I'm gonna answer the top 10 questions that all of you wanna know about fitness. All right, so first question, how long do you work out every day? That varies. Ever since I started CrossFit, I don't really have um, an exact schedule. It's just based on the WOD of the day, which is workout of the day. So sometimes I'll be there for an hour, sometimes it's like a 30 minute, you know, very fast paced um, workout. And there's other times where I'll have to um, do weights in the morning and then run in the afternoon or vice versa. So it really, really varies. But if I had to say about an average, I'd say about like an hour, an hour to 15 minutes. Question number two. What keeps you motivated to keep on track with your progress? That's a really good question because I have days where I'm just not motivated. Today was one of them. Thankfully, it was a rest day for me, but I think if I had to work out, I would have just failed. Um, but I think what keeps me motivated is my personal progress. For instance, my scale has not moved in the longest time. Like It'll just go maybe a couple of ounces and that's it. And then I get a little bit discouraged. So, um, see, there's psychic. That's my co-anchor. <laughs> um, so it, it, I like compare pictures from when I first started to now, and the difference is huge. And you wouldn't think that if you just go by the scale, which is why sometimes we get so focused, myself included, on just a scale, just a scale, and your body is just changing, like losing inches, gaining muscle, and that's where the real transformation happens. And also, you guys will motivate me as well. Um, you know, I'll get some of you telling me how I inspire them to eat better, to um, be healthy, work out more, and that to me is motivation, and I just want to bring my best self to all of you. Numero tres, how do you manage time to blog and post pictures and go to the gym? Um, I honestly, I write down everything. I'm very, very old school. I like to keep calendars almost everywhere. I take one on my purse with me. I have one in my office. Um, I will write it down on my phone just because I always have my phone with me and sometimes it's just easier to access. But that's really how I find the time and I'm very routine. So I'll go to the gym at five in the morning. I'll then train my clients. Um, and then like I'll do the posting usually at night when I'm here just in you know watching TV or, or cooking or whatever and um, and then on the weekends is when I usually find time to shoot film do all of that um, so it's just really about keeping organized and um, trying to keep everything as set as possible at least that's what works for me and um, so far so good. <laughs> Alright, question, I think this is number four. Um, how long until you see results? Very good question. That kind of goes with the other question that I just answered. Um, every person varies. Um, for instance, somebody that has never worked out in their life and just starts to work out will probably drop weight like this as compared to somebody who has always lived a pretty healthy lifestyle, has always worked out, and maybe just like tightened up their diet. So it all varies with each person. Um, there really is no exact time that you can really start seeing results, but what I can tell you, when you start eating healthier, living um, a healthier lifestyle, working out more, um, you will start getting into that routine about two weeks in. So um, that's that's kind of like the only thing that I can tell you that is, but other than that, results can vary from person to person. It can be as little as a week to as long as a month. I mean, the most important thing is just to keep on 
track, keep doing what you're doing, and trust the process. Question number five. How many reps sets should you do? This is good because a lot of people go to the gym and they just don't know what they're doing, they get frustrated, which is completely normal. I was the same way when I started. I had um, no idea what I was doing. Usually, depending on the results that you want, if you're a beginner, you're probably gonna be going light. So you would probably do three sets of about 15 to 21 reps. Now, as you start advancing more and you start getting heavier and you kind of want more of a muscular look, more toned, then you will probably do lower reps and maybe a little bit more sets, like maybe five sets of five, five sets of six, around that range, just because you're going a lot heavier. As far as starting off, you wanna do about three sets of 15 to 21, and then just increase from there. Um, you Then if you start off with 15, you can go up to 21, or increase, like if you start at three sets of 15, then you'll do like four sets of 15, the whole thing is changing it up, you keep your body guessing. And as you go heavier, then you can start doing less reps. Okay, question number six. I want to lose weight. Where should I start? I think that is a very good way to start. You need to have your mind ready to do this because I can tell somebody, you need to lose weight, you need to do this, you need to do that, and if their mind is not on the right um, mindset, it's not gonna happen. So that is number one. Be ready to do it, be focused, and then from there, you, I would just get everything that's in your pantry, in your fridge, that's um, considered junk food, and just throw it out. And just replace it with lots of veggies, um, sweet potatoes, lean meats, um, good fats, like peanut butter, coconut oil, just so that you're not tempted to go and get anything that you really shouldn't. Uh, because you first have to kind of just get your, your body and your mind into wanting and going for those healthy foods because the first couple of days it's gonna be hard and your body, there's chemicals in those um, junk foods that make you want more. So it's kind of like you're an addict. Um, so you need to spend some time just detoxing, getting rid of all that from your body and then your body will just crave the health, the healthy foods. And then from there, then just start going into the gym. Um, if you just have 20 minutes or that's all that you can do, do 20 minutes of uh, walking. Go outside, go with your, your husband, your, your girlfriend, your friend, and just go walk. Um, get your body used to that routine. Then once you start doing that, it'll be so much easier and then you can start incorporating weights, going to the gym or maybe doing stuff at home. I have a lot of good um, workouts here on my YouTube that is great for home and you can definitely do. Throw away all the junk that's in your house, replace it with good lean proteins, fats, veggies, complex carbs like sweet potato, white rice, brown rice, wheat bread, um, and then just gradually start incorporating fitness into it, like working, um, walking 20 minutes the first week, then, then do 30 the next. And then depending on how you feel, um, if you think that you're ready to step into the gym, because I know it could be a little bit overwhelming for some people, then you just go and do it. And um, you'll live a much better, longer, happier life. Next question which is, when is the best time to work out? Hmm, I think it's the morning, but honestly, it's whenever you can work out. That's the best time. The best time is when you're gonna actually be able to do it and you're not gonna have excuses and um, you're not gonna miss the workout. So for me, it's five in the morning. I love going at five. I love the adrenaline that I feel, the energy that I feel for the rest of the day. And the fact that there's nobody at the gym, I personally, I love it. Um, there's other people that have no energy at five and they're like, no way. I don't have energy in the afternoon. I am a morning person, so I enjoy working out in the morning. So honestly, just if you know yourself and you know that you're not a morning person, then don't set yourself up, don't set yourself up to fail. 
don't plan to go to the gym in the morning because that maybe the first day you're happy, you're excited, but the second day comes along and you're like, mm, and then you're just gonna end up not going. So be realistic, and um, if you're more of a night owl, go at night. There's no specific time that, that's better. You're not gonna burn more fat if you go in the morning. You're not gonna burn less if you go at night. It's actually getting it done. Number ocho. Will weights make me fat? No, weights will not make you fat at all. Um, that is such a misconception. Weights actually make you leaner, which is what people don't understand. Um, muscle does weigh more than fat, so your scale might go up. But if you look at yourself and you're looking at your clothes, it's you're actually shrinking because um, muscles are like they burn the fat. So getting weights, I mean doing weights and building that muscle, you're actually getting leaner and increasing your lean body mass. So don't be scared of weights, ladies. If you really, and listen to me closely, ladies, if you really want to see your body change, do weights. There's no ifs, ands, or, or buts about it. Well, yeah, you will get a butt, but. <laughs> But honestly, if you want to see that that body that you're seeing all over social media, it's weights. Doing cardio is not, it's going to get you lean, it's going to get you thin on the scale, and yes, you'll lose weight, but your body on it, like getting that perky butt, that the nice toned arms without the flab, weights. Number nine, how many hours do you see? <laughs> Not as many as I should. I go to bed about 10 or 11 and I wake up around 4.45. I set my alarm for like 4.15 and <laughs> it goes off every five minutes, but I actually get out of bed like at 4.45. On the weekends, I'll take some naps here and there but I definitely should probably sleep more. You should get about six to eight hours, but I think we're all guilty of that. The last one, question numero diez. What food do you normally eat? Um, I am pretty plain Jane, and I eat the same things during the week, and on the weekend it's kind of when I'll be spontaneous and crazy and uh, eat a little bit different. But my food staples are oatmeal, protein shake, eggs, egg whites, uh, Greek yogurt, veggies, plantains I'm obsessed with. I've been doing them on, on the air fryer. If you guys want the recipe, just let me know in the comments below. Uh, sweet potatoes, sweet potato fries, um, ground turkey, chicken, um, deli slices, and yeah, those are my staples and then I'll just, you know, mix and match. And I'm very about convenience and doing things very easy. So all my vegetables I get frozen. I'm really into the zucchini pasta that they have. I just stick it in the microwave and bada bing bada boom, I'm out the door. No, oh, um, Quest Bars and RX Bars. Just I usually just have them here in case um, like I have somewhere to go and I just have to I know that I'm going to be somewhere for a long time, like a shoe or, or something like that, and I just grab the bar and, um, and I'll have food with me. Yeah, I try to stick to whole foods as much as possible. I really don't do a lot of processed um, or anything like that. It's mostly whole foods. The most that I'll do process is my shake, my post pro my post-workout protein shake just because I leave the gym and I have to have it just on the way to train somebody or to go do something and a shake is the easiest thing to just drink on the way out. So yeah, if you guys have any other questions or anything else you want to ask me, just comment below and I'm more than happy to help you with anything. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Coffee chat with Monica. Cheers! Bye!